So guys, it is yet again that uh, time of, I guess, the month where I have used up a lot of my current beauty products and I have a big bag full of trash. I know I normally have it in a Mac bag, but this uh, time I used up more and I need to upsize to a Sephora bag. So I'm just going to randomly pull these out and tell you quickly what my thoughts are because I don't want this video to end up being like 15 minutes long because that gets really boring for you guys. So the first thing is the Skin to Mitt Skin Therapy uh, Moisturizing Shave Gel. So that's what it looks like. I know it's really bright out right now, so this might have a little bit of glare. This was alright. It was very moisturizing. I'm not really one to use shave gel just because the razors that I use have built-in like moisture bars in them, so it's kind of unnecessary. But this was good. I think it came in a Christmas package that I got like a year ago with a razor. Um, oh gosh, just flew somewhere. This smells very fresh. Um, it almost smells like there's lavender in it. Smelled good. I, I liked it. Um, I'm not going to run out and purchase it. So I'm not going to run out and purchase it just for the reason that I said earlier with my shavers. They already have moisture in them, so no sense of spending more money on stuff that is kind of unnecessary in my opinion. Next thing that I actually, this one, I kind of lied. I didn't use this up. I was going through um, my cupboards because I was noticing that I was um, kind of had a lack of space for all the new makeup that I have bought this year because I've kind of went um, crazy and I just noticed that this was actually expired. It expired a long time ago and so it's kind of useless to have it because this is sunscreen and when it expires it's yeah there's no no need in putting it on because it's not going to do its job. This is the Neutrogena Ultra Sheer Dry Touch Sunblock SPF 45. I use this on my face or I used this on my face. Really like it. I definitely like having the higher SPF because I am so fair. I am more susceptible to getting a sunburn, which is not fun at all. So I always apply that in the summer. Um, I find that that um, provides a nice matte um, application. It doesn't get greasy and like oily looking like most sunscreens do. It's definitely good for the face. Next thing that I am pulling out of this Sephora bag is the Paris Amour Pocket Pack from Bath & Body Works. This was really good. Um, I really like their antibacterial um, soap just because it is infused with, what is it, Tahitian palm milk. So it doesn't dry out your hands like most um, antibacterial soaps do, um, do to your hands. The only thing that I didn't like about this, and I don't know if you can see it still in the bottom, but this was like light pink and it had glitter in it. I don't know who brilliantly thought of that it would be a good idea to put glitter in antibacterial soap, but the last thing that I want is to um, sanitize my hands and then have glitter everywhere because you know the glitter, once it's on you, it transfers everywhere and it's pretty much impossible to get rid of. So that's the one thing that I didn't like. It smelled really nice. It smelled exactly like the Paris Amour um, fragrance, but the whole glitter thing... I, I didn't understand that. I got that, I think, for Christmas last year. Next thing is something that I actually um, showed in my This or That Beauty Blenders uh, video. This is my no-name um, beauty blender that I really like. Of course, I can't use it now because it's shrunk and like hard and just gross looking. I did use this for quite a while. If you take care of these guys, they will last. The next thing is the Physoderm pH Balancer. No, that's going to have a bit of a glare. Um, this was just a cleanser. I got this from Walmart. I think it was about $8. Didn't really like this. I only got this because my uh, original cleanser that I used, the, I think it's Garnier Fructus. It's in a bright blue bottle. It's a gel. Really like that. It was sold out, obviously, because Walmart has issues with stocking their shelves. Um, so yeah, I didn't really like this. Um, it is nice because it is more of a natural alternative, so you're not using all of those chemicals and they're not seeping into your skin. But um, I definitely prefer my Garnier one because it just does a better job. I feel like the Garnier one definitely cleans your skin better. Next thing is my MAC Cleanse Off Oil because I go through this stuff like water. I love it. I don't think I really need to say much about this except it is flippin' fantastic to take off my makeup. Next thing is, oh wow, another product that I didn't use up because it expired. This was actually, again, featured in my This or That series in the foundation. This is the CoverGirl True Blend. This is in shade number one, and 
Again, I was just going through my makeup bag because it was getting really, really uh, packed. Um, and I was like, hmm, I haven't used this in a while. Maybe it's gone bad because it looked kind of weird. And then I smelt it and I was like, oh yes, oh yes, that is gone bad. That smells very um, often like chemically and it definitely is separated and yeah, it's just not worth using, which is kind of sad because I spent like, I think like 12 or $13 on this and I used maybe half of the bottle. But definitely will not be repurchasing that because I did not enjoy it at all. Next thing is another thing that I use like crazy. It is the Michael Todd True Organics Blue Green Algae Antibacterial Toner. I love this. It is a fantastic toner. Doesn't skin, doesn't skin, doesn't sting your skin. It feels very natural. It is 97% organic. You have to um, order this online on their website, which is kind of a pain because it does ship out of Florida, I believe. Um, but yeah, it's, it's a pretty good price. I will obviously link everything that I've shown in this video down below so that if you want to purchase any of these things, you can go right ahead. I think everything will still be available for the most part. Um, the next thing is something that I flip and love. Oh my gosh, this is just fantastic stuff. It is expensive, but it's definitely worth the money. This is the Glam Glow, just the original mud mask. I got this in Top Box like a year ago, and I actually got quite a bit of, um, uses out of this little jar. This retails for about 20 bucks, I think. The big one is like the original size is $75, I believe. So that's kind of like what it looks like. It's dark. Um, it's got chunks of, uh, I think it's volcanic ash, volcanic rock in it. And it's got French sea clay and active green tea leaf and tea oxy, whatever that ingredient is. So pretty much to apply this, you just, um, Get your face wet and then you just apply it and then it will dry and it kind of like hardens up and it like feels like it's shrinking your skin almost and your skin just feels really tight but when you take it off your skin looks a lot better like it feels really like deeply cleansed and your pores also look smaller which is a big issue for me um what made me really really like this product is my skin was looking really um bad the week before i took my engagement photo through friday i applied this every day and then on Saturday, my skin was all healed up. It looked great. The pictures turned out wonderful, which was awesome. So that's why I really like it. I do want to purchase another one, but 75 bucks right now for that is just too much. And I've got more than enough face masks to use up. So I definitely need to, you know, cut back on my inventory a bit and then I can start buying again. Um, this next thing is the soft soap. Citrus Splash and Berry Fusion Shower Gel. Really like this. Good value for money. It's a huge size. As you can see, this had like little like moisturizing exfoliant beads in the, um, you can probably see it in the bottom, in the formula. Um, smelt really good. Smells exactly how um, the name describes it. Really like this. Really fresh. I really like, you know, the more tropical scents, especially in the summer. So yeah, and I actually have another one of those. My mom buys me one every single year for Christmas. Next thing is another thing my mom actually bought me for Christmas like one or two years ago. This is the Body Ecology Cherry Blossom um, Fragrance Mist. This was alright. Not my favorite scent. Definitely lasted throughout the day. Um, however, it's not a perfume, so it's not going to be super strong. Um, but yeah, it's not my favorite scent. She got me one this year for Christmas, and it was Cupcake, so that one I'm more excited to try because I really like the really either sugary, sweet, um, almost edible scents, or the really, really tropical scents. I'm not really big into florals. The next thing is a little jar that I definitely got on my top box because it's a sample. Uh, this is the Estee Lauder Advanced Night Repair Eye Synchronized Complex 2. Oh my goodness, that's a mouthful. This was the best eye cream that I have ever tried. There's literally nothing in there because I loved it so much. This is also like 70 or $75 at Sephora. Obviously it's a bigger um, tub, but it's it's really expensive, but oh, it just made your eyes so soft and they just look so refreshed and awakened in the morning. I just, I really enjoyed this. I didn't think I was gonna like it as much as what I did, but like oh, when I'm out of eye cream, I will definitely go and purchase that because it was just, Fantastic. So the next thing, I don't know if we can consider this an empty because it's an eyeliner that you sharpen, but this is the Sephora, oh, I forget what it's called, the Define Eyeliner or something in, I think it's called Black Lace. Um, just like your traditional, second, it's just your traditional, you know, black pencil eyeliner. I love this. Definitely goes on nice and smooth. It transfers a bit when you tight line with it just because it is so soft. 
but it's not too bad once it sets. I really like this and I actually do have a, uh, another one going right now. So next thing is, well actually I have two of these, are Lush, um, these had Lush bath bombs in them. My sister got me two for Christmas. If I can smell these, maybe I'll be able to tell which one it is. So this one was the pink, I want to say it's called Flower Power or something. I definitely will link them down below. Um, it's bright pink with like daisies on it and then when it melts it has purple and pink like confetti hearts in it which was really fun. And this one is just the classic white butter ball that smells like vanilla and then when it melts down um, it has oatmeal in it so it's really nice and nourishing. Really like those. Um, this next thing, guys we're not done yet. This product is the Michael Todd True Organics Intensive Eye Treatment. I really like this. Not as much as the Estee Lauder but it's definitely um, cheaper and it's very good value for money. This lasts me probably two months, I'd say. I like it. It does its job. And it is, let's see, how organic is this? This is 90% organic. So you're definitely not going to get the chemicals that a lot of eye cream treatments have in them. Um, almost done, guys. Still got a few more. This is something that I got from my top box. It is a full-size product. It is the Ico London Black Magic uh, Mascara. This is called Drama and Curl. It's kind of weird because it comes in like a plastic like tube. Never seen it like that before. And then if I can open this up, I literally used this until it was super, super dried out. This is what the brush looks like. It's like curved. Oh, put it back here. So this is what it looks like. It's curved. Um, I didn't think this was that fantastic. I definitely liked it when I layered it underneath my Too Faced Better Than Sex. I would definitely not use this on its own, but used with that mascara I really liked it. And the next thing is something that I've had for years and it's actually probably disgusting that I've had it for so long. I've probably had it for like five years. This is definitely not available anymore. I highly doubt it if it is. I will be surprised if it is. Um, this is a Bonnie Bell Lip Lights Glossy Tint in Caramel Latte and it looks really gross because I've had it for so long. But when you smell it, it smells exactly like Caramel Latte. That is what the color looks. Right there, just a nice like deeper nude color, very moisturizing, it's not heavy at all. I really like this. Next thing is an yet another sample that I got from Topbox. This is the Lancome Hypnos Doll Lashes Mascara. This one was alright, it is a high-end mascara. So it definitely has a different um, brush on it than the other one, it's kind of like a comb shape. I like this one, I like this one better than the Ico. Um, I like to pair this one up with the Too Faced, though problem that I found with this wand is that right where it tapers in I find that it collected a lot of mascara and so the insides are like my inner corner where my lashes are um it would get really gloopy just because too much uh, product so last but not least is another holy grail item that I really don't need to say much about because I have this in pretty much like probably 70 percent of my videos this little guy is in it this is the NARS Pro Prime smudge proof eyeshadow base I love this. I don't know how many I've been through. I've probably been through like, I'd probably say five or six. This lasts me probably for, so this probably lasts me three months. It's just a doe foot sponge applicator. It goes on clear, but it's like crazy glue for your eyelids. Your makeup is not going to budge. I've tried high-end uh, eyeshadow with it, eyeliner, drugstore. No matter what, this stuff holds it. I really like it. It is a little bit more expensive but I think it is well worth your money because, oh my goodness, it's just, it's fantastic. And I don't even want to go out and look for something better because I personally think this is the best. But if you guys have something that you think is better or rivals it, let me know. And I definitely want to try it because anything better than this, it just goes on a whole new level. So guys, um, I know that was kind of long and look it, it's going to be like a 15 minute video. Awesome. Exactly what I tried not to do. Um... I hope you guys did enjoy this video. If you did, please give me a thumbs up. I would really appreciate that. If you've tried any of these products, let me know what your thoughts on them. Um, and if you guys want to see any future videos, please leave them down in the comments below. I'd really appreciate that. I'm going to try to film more, but I definitely can't promise anything like I said before in previous videos. I'm just going to film when I have the time. Um, I'm going to try to film in bulk and then just... Uh, upload once a week because right now I just I'm not filming enough to do 
to a video so we can I figure may as well space them out do once a week and then you have a video you know every week and not like a whole bunch at once and then like a few months where you don't have videos so yeah I know I'm, I'm spacing them out more and you're not seeing as much of me maybe you guys don't care but um I am trying really hard to film more but it's just really hard for me right now with school and wedding in the house and just life in general is just kind of crazy for me right now so um Stick around guys in a few months. I know that sounds crazy. It will probably get a lot better with school being done. But um, yeah, I definitely promise that after school is done, I will be able to film more. Um, and yeah, I have lots of uh, great ideas for what I want to do to make my help make my channel, you know, look better, look more professional, you know, grow. I feel like this is just a cool like transition and journey kind of that I'm on as crazy as that sounds. But like if you go back and look at my first video, just the difference, it just looks, you know, it's like night and day. So, you know what, I'm learning um, as I do this. And, you know, I'm actually enjoying this while I learn, so that's really cool. Um, but anyways, I'm rambling on. You guys are probably like, what the heck, Allison? Just shut up. I watched the video to see your products, not to see you ramble on about your life and how crazy it is. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to be quiet now. Hope you guys have a great day. I'll see you guys later. Bye.